Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to deploy your website onto HostGator. Now, I'll be honest, I normally just use tiny.host, which is super quick and simple to use, but I'll show you HostGator first so that you can compare the difference. So I've just logged into HostGator now, and this is what their dashboard looks like. I did need to sign up with a credit card because they don't have a free tier, but to get started, I'm gonna to go to hosting on the left here. Then once that loads, I'll scroll down and click the sample website that they've already set up for us and then click the URL just so I can show you that it's just a very basic WordPress site that they have set up for you out of the box. But I'll show you that you don't necessarily need just WordPress, we can host anything here. To do that, what we do is scroll down to File Manager. Let's click that. Then what we wanna do is click Home and we wanna go into public underscore HTML. So these are all the folders and files for the WordPress site that you just saw. So we can delete all this and upload our website. But to make things easy, I'm just gonna create a new folder called new website. So our website will just be a path on the existing one. So let's go into new website, then click upload. So to make this easy, I've got my website here. We've got an index.html, a brain folder and a readme. What I'm gonna do is highlight all of them and compress them into a zip file. Then I'm just gonna upload that zip file. So that's done. Let's close that and reload in here. There's our archive.zip. And then we can extract it just to where we are. Extract files, done. Let's reload again. And now you can see our website is ready and loaded on the server. So if we go back to our website, but instead do new website, which is the path we set this up on. Here's the calculator. So that is how you upload your website using HostGator. Now I'll show you tiny.host, which is what I normally use, which is super quick and simple to use. So this is what their dashboard looks like, and you don't need a credit card to get started, which is awesome. So I'm gonna click upload, and you can see they accept a HTML, PDF, PHP, zip file, and they have some examples as well. Well, we already have a zip file, so I'm gonna get that archive.zip we made earlier and drag it into the upload section. Now, we can choose a link name. I'm gonna say my calculator and spell it correctly. And we can also add a custom domain, but I'm just gonna use theirs. We also have some access gate restrictions if you wanna hide your website behind a password or an email form. But I'm just gonna leave everything as default. Just click publish, and you can see it's super quick with tiny. Let's go to our website now, and you can see there is the calculator that we just created as well. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more tips from us, please remember to like and subscribe. With that all said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.